Hello, uh, here is short update. In my last video I shown you this ESP32 board with big uh, 480 by 320 touch display. ESP32 S2 is brain of this board and this display is connected to ESP32 S2 chip using parallel communication. So uh, 16 pins on ESP are used to run this display. So this display is much faster than display that use serial communication. Uh, right now we can see JPEG files stored on SD card. Decoding JPEG is not easy task for ESP32 but it works fine I guess. Uh, in this video I will I want to compare some of my older ESP32 boards with this new board. I will compare it uh, with M5 stack. Uh, this M5 stack have a resolution of 320 by uh, 240 so display on this new board is twice bigger. So on this board I will use on only half of screen. Uh, I wanted to make some hard tasks for our boards. There are many benchmark sketches but they are they are running so fast so it is very hard to notice the difference. So I made my own sketch. Let me turn this on. Um, okay, uh, here I have 320 by uh, 240 sprite. In each cycle I am drawing 16 lines with random color. Right now I am drawing only one line but uh, but I want 16 later. Each line will start from 0 and it will change height by 1 pixel until it reach desired point. Then it will change direction and go to 0. Uh, now I have only one line, so this is not hard task for this M5 stack board. But in second, we will try to run all 16 lines. Um, it is a little hard to explain this, but um, it is very simple. You can see code. So we have only a few lines of code. All data are in arrays. So here is 16 lines. Each line have its own color which is random. Each line have desired point, uh, starting point which is zero and direction which is plus one pixel. Direction can only be plus one or minus one. And here is how this sketch looks on this board. Not bad. This looks good. Sometimes colors are boring so I can just reset whole board and now I have new set of colors. This sketch runs uh, very smoothly and it is very pleasant for eyes, I don't know. And here is how this same sketch looks on M5 Stack Core 2. I think this is hard task for this device. This is probably my favorite ESP32 board. I rarely use it on my channel, but I love it. Built-in battery, real-time clock, speaker, microphone, touch display, SD card slot and more. Sometimes I'm going to my work with this in my pocket. In description you can find my other projects using this board. Feel free to check them. So there is big difference in speed on these two devices. But it was fun to see difference. I hope this video is not too boring for you. I love to play with these boards and sometimes I will make something really simple just for fun. I tried to use a whole display as sprite, but ESP32 don't have enough memory for this. 
for this size of this lane. But this project can also be done without using sprites. Thank you for your time, have a nice day and I will see you soon. Bye.